Really excited to share today's lesson on pixel art and Google Sheets. My students work with the Google Suite quite a bit, uh, but sometimes they just want to break from the monotony of the regular lessons and do something fun and artistic. And so um, this is a neat way to use uh, Google Sheets in an artistic way. And so you'll see it kind of makes pixel art in itself is kind of this like 8-bit graphics that used to be in the Ataris or popular in Minecraft. And so it's, it's a lot of fun to do. And the students get to learn a little bit about conditional formatting. So let me show you what that looks like uh, setting it up from the get-go. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And in my Google tray here, I'm going to find my sheets. And I'll open that up. And we will start with a blank sheet. So from the very beginning, you'll notice the cells aren't the same size. And so I'm going to go up here, and this square right here selects all the cells. And when you change one size, it changes all of the sizes. And you'll notice maybe this area might not be large enough if you really want to create something amazing. So you could always just go insert another 26 columns to the right. And now we have a very large area to use for our pixel art. So let me show you how the conditional formatting works so that you can actually make some pixel art. So I'm going to go back to this um, cell that selects all, and I'm going to go to the drop-down menu that says Format. And if I go down here, you'll see Conditional Formatting. At this point, you see it applies to the whole uh, sheet. And what I'm going to do is if Format the cell, I'm going to click on this arrow, and it gives me a bunch of options. I'm going to say if it is equal to, I'm going to just put the number one because I want to use the number keys on my keyboard. And I'm going to change it to a color. So I'll just keep it these basic colors. I'm going to go red for the font and red for the paint bucket. And you'll notice I'll press done. And if I press the number one now anywhere on my sheet, one over here, one over here, one over here, you'll see it changes it to red. Now we're going to do that. I'm going to actually just go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, just to show you how this looks. You'll notice that when I make a new conditional format, these numbers will change. So I'm going to click on the, the rule I created already. I'm going to say add another rule. The, way I, the reason I do that is it keeps the ranges already in. So uh, if it's equal to, but I'm going to change it to the number 2 now, I'm going to change the color to orange and orange. And you'll notice the two on my screen changes right away. I'm going to add another rule. This time if it's, oh, let's see, three, I'm going to make it yellow and yellow. And you'll see that it should change shortly. I'll add another rule. And you get the idea. And you begin uh putting in colors for the numbers you want. So depending on the project you're doing, you'll want to choose uh, a color palette that is, fits you. Anyways, I could go on, but I've already created one earlier, and you can see I have this color palette already made. And in fact, I'll be putting this link in the uh, description of this video so that if you uh, just want to copy it and paste, or just click on it, you can begin making your own pixel art without having to format. So anyways, I could click one, and I could use the arrows, which I like to use. So I'm just using the arrows on my keyboard. I go down and over and down and down and down and over. Or if you want to use your mouse to click on different things, you can as well. And you can see you begin to create things. Now, if you're wanting to create, fill in a larger area, so um, right here I could just highlight I'm going to copy and then I'm going to just drag and press control V for paste and so sometimes I'll do that when I'm filling in a larger area. You'll also notice that um, sometimes my students will say nine colors isn't enough and I only have nine numerical keys and so I'll sometimes do it by letters and so instead of saying the value is um, equal to something, I'll say the text is exactly, and I'll do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you'll notice right here, I started to begin to do that. So I could go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and it is creating 
the colors that I did there. Again, I will put um, a copy of this in the description as well if you want to just click on that and begin doing this yourself. Anyways, you will spend hours having a, a blast making all kinds of pixel art. I hope you enjoyed this and have fun with it.